Before we dive into the dishes, let's prepare a pumpkin puree and the pumpkin spice mix. We will be using this in most of our recipes today. Making your own pumpkin puree could not be easier. Just roast a pumpkin or a squash on full wax for about an hour or so. If you've got big seeds, I recommend saving them for roasting later. Normally, I toss the whole squash into the oven, but with different sizes today, I've cut one in half to speed up the process. When the skin turns brown and the flesh softens, I turn off the oven and let them cool inside overnight. I'd like to invite you all to pause and take a deep breath with me. Inhale slowly through your nose. Exhale gently through your mouth. How are you feeling today? I admit I'm a bit tired, but I'm also deeply grateful. Grateful for these simple everyday moments like baking and talking to my belly for nature around me, all the birds, for the fall sky with most amazing clouds. How about you guys? What brought a smile to your face today? It's so vital for us to occasionally check in with ourselves and appreciate the beauty around us. Even on our tougher days, you know, life after all is not just black and white. Last week I packed my hospital bag, I'm keeping it very simple, just essentials for the baby and some nourishing snacks for me, added some hydrating coconut water to my bag, I made some energy balls with dried fruits and nuts, and I'm planning to bring my pumpkin and lentil soup from my story number 4. Honestly, being prepared gives me peace of mind as we count down to the big day.
Life has been simple and unhurried lately. Not much has been going on. I've been doing my best to keep up with chores and work. And if I can't, I remind myself that it's okay. I've been baking a lot recently and guys, I've been using my squash puree almost every day. I'm so hooked. I think I made the best pumpkin pie so far. Even with some issues with my crust due to the heat, I still got amazing results. I feel like people make pumpkin pie just for Thanksgiving and it's kind of underrated throughout the autumn and winter. I mean, it makes a great dessert for any occasion if you find a great recipe. I made this one for my mom's birthday and it was a hit. Just the right balance of sweetness and spice, complemented by a crispy flaky crust. The filling, the mix of brown butter, honey and pumpkin, oof, it's pure bliss. I even made a double batch of the crust to freeze for later, so convenient. The full recipe for this gorgeous pumpkin pie is in the description box below. Even pumpkin skeptics have become fans, I'm warning you guys. Thank you. 
You guys probably know how much I love brown butter. It's not just for desserts, it's amazing in savory dishes too. Butternut squash, especially when roasted until caramelized, is a perfect match for it. And when you add some holiday style extras, even those unsure about squash, like my dad, can't resist. For your next party or gathering, I wholeheartedly recommend serving roasted squash with brown butter, crunchy walnuts, tangy dried cranberries and creamy feta cheese. Not only this combination is a visual and taste treat, but it's also simple to whip up. Plus you can prep it ahead of time, which is definitely a bonus. Trust me, it's a treat. Lord Levio, she's a nightmare. No wonder she's got any friends. This pumpkin bread, oh, I'm not a fan of the world perfection, but you guys, it really can't get any better. It's healthy, moist, fluffy, and just sweet enough. It's such a treat to have on hand. Imagine a slice of this warm, spicy bread paired with a cup of tea or cacao on a cozy evening. Oh, happy days! <laughs> 